Hey Soma, uh, this Sunday we're starting a new series on the book of Jonah. I'm really excited for us to dive into it because I think it has a lot to challenge us with. The book of Jonah is a short book. It's four chapters long and it's amidst of this sort of collection of books called the Minor Prophets. And the Minor Prophets weren't minor because what they had to say was below average, but because what they had to say, they said briefly and powerfully. Some of the prophets use powerful poetry like Habakkuk and Zephaniah, the sort of poetry that just sort of stirs your heart. Others use culturally relevant events like Joel looking to the swarms of locusts and plagues and all of these things that were happening to sort of awaken the people to the reality of God's need uh, to restore those people. And then others uh, use story. And that's what Jonah did. They use stories, and in fact, they use their own stories to get to the depths of the human imagination for what God is really up to and what he's all about. See, stories break through so much of the things that uh, consume us. Stories allow us to sort of place ourselves within the context. It allows us to, to see our emotions and our attitudes exposed for us. We'll see ourselves in the characters. And that's why prophets like Jonah and Hosea use story and they use their own. Jonah comes to the people of Israel when they've uh, sort of abandoned their calling, where they're very prideful and they think that, that, that they have an inside track into God and that they're sort of boastful in that. So much so that they neglect the people around them. They, they neglect the other nations, the other people. They were called in the very beginning in Genesis 12 to be a family that is a blessing to the rest of the world. In Exodus, they're called to be a nation of priests showing everyone the goodness of God. But instead, what the people have done is they've sort of huddled together and they've got consumed with their own politics, their own status, and to the neglect, even the growth of hatred and the disregard for all other people. So the book of Jonah comes with this remarkable twist. The book of Jonah comes and you would think it would be about how, how awful the people are. But instead it's a story that shows us that God is intent on his mission to God's people as much as he is intent on having a mission through God's people. What I mean by that is through the book of Jonah, we will see God pursues relentlessly his people. In fact, you might even begin to see that the mission that God calls Jonah on, he calls him on that because he wants to do something in Jonah's heart and life just as much as he wants to do something in this city far away. I think for us as a people, we'll see that this is a great book for us that feel like we've done everything wrong because we'll find ourselves in the characters of this story. For those of us who feel like we hear God's voice, but we neglect it, we'll find ourselves in this story. For those of us who feel like we're at the bottom of a pit, we will see ourselves in this story. For those of us who are committing our lives to seeing a city transformed, we will see encouragement because God's compassion and grace comes. For those of us who are unsure if God even cares about our world and the world around us, we will understand God's concern goes to the, to the depths. I'm excited that we're doing this series. Hope you join us. Excited to see how this gets played out in our missional communities, DNA groups, and when we gather, uh, and however it is that we gather. Look forward to doing this.